it out here. Welcome to Richmond Park. It is the largest in London and I refer to it as a bit of a game reserve because there are red deer here, there's fallow deer, there's lots of other species of animals and birds. It's actually beautiful. So join me on a run. We're going to have a good look around here. But the other part of this is I'm going to draw lots of comparisons to an urban game reserve that we are busy developing in South Africa between two cities. Port Elizabeth, now known as Kebecha, and Utenag, which is now known as Kericha. So those two cities and we've started bringing back all the big animals, a lot bigger than here. I mean, we've got elephants, we've got buffaloes, giraffe, all kinds of stuff coming back. So it's all about urban game reserves. And, you know, a lot of people coming into these rural spaces within their cities just for general healing, well-being and an enjoyment of nature. So they're very, very important. Anyway, the best part of today is I've got Christian joining me and I know how much he loves running. So I arranged a lime bike for him and uh, he's all good to go. Okay, buddy, let's start moving. What's that noise? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These things have got some serious horsepower. This is life. This is freedom. Shit. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about the history of the park because it goes all the way back to the 1200s. And it became more established in the 1600s when King Charles feared for his life. Ah, it's when King Charles I and his family feared for their life because the plague that hit London and so he moved the whole palace to Richmond Palace and this was his backyard and being a king he loved a bit of hunting they call it stalking yeah and so he introduced 2,000 deer fellow deer and red deer and he established the Royal Reserve so it is a place of the deep history What we've got here is a magnificent herd of fallow deer. There are hundreds in Richmond Park. They are accompanied by the red deer, which are indigenous. These fellows are actually exotic. They were brought over here hundreds of years ago and they absolutely thrive. So they, you find them across Europe, but you find them here now too. And funny enough, in South Africa, Simon van der Stel, one of the Dutch settlers from the 1600s, brought a whole lot of them down there. And they've also thrived in South Africa. Bizarre fact. But anyway, they serve a great purpose here, just in terms of this magnificent green lung in London, this nature reserve, if you like. Jesus. Slow down, buddy. Uh, it's a bit too fast for me. Uh, on some rough terrain here. Ah! Worked pretty hard to find these guys, albeit there's so many of them. But yeah, uh, I read there. The big stags can weigh up to almost 200 kilograms and these were traditionally found up north in the highlands of Scotland and those sort of areas but they flourish down here in the south and there's plenty of them here. What a lovely day. Whoa, 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 mysterious girl. You and me, baby, we There are many of these ancient, ancient oaks uh, scattered around the park. This one in particular has got to be about 500 years old. And I have reason to believe that this is Sir David Attenborough's favorite tree in the world, which is pretty cool. He actually lives locally to the area and uh, you can understand why he loves this tree and this park because it's just a lovely backyard for him. Just to give you a bit of background on your CR game reserve in South Africa. It stands for place of honey and bees. 
it's a what's the word one of our local dialects and it's a peri urban game reserve so it is nestled between two cities and the idea is to create our own Richmond Park or Central Park Hyde Park so that these two cities have a place to go and it is also located on the edge of a massive township population of 100,000 that border the reserve and the idea there is all about embracing community through job creation and skills upliftment and all of those good things and so that they start falling in love with that little game reserve so it's a really cool model and uh, one that I hope will achieve the success that Richmond has. Richmond Park, a green oasis amidst the urban sprawl, and the New Game Park in South Africa, teeming with wildlife, serve as poignant reminders of the importance of nature in our lives. In a world dominated by concrete and steel, it's easy to forget the simple joys of nature. But it's in these moments, surrounded by the rustle of leaves and the chirping of birds, that we find peace and perspective. Somebody drink this up. Somebody's obviously been up there before. <laughs> So let's not overlook the importance of nature in our lives. Let us cherish the green spaces that surround us and the wildlife that calls them home. For in doing so, we not only preserve the beauty of our planet, but also nourish our own souls.